different. The other one, so even though the other one was a bit of a bust, now that one was definitely good. And it is, yeah, it's, it's brilliant, it really is. I'm very pleased with that. Right, so let's stick that into our. I was going to say the Omatana, but yeah, it's not the Omatana, but yes, it's the an equivalent. It's a bit like. Well, it is. No, it's not. It's. It is a unique one. I'm not sure what mod set it's from or whether it's unique to this. Yeah. because it makes that almost a 35 ton forage wagon really and it was very reasonable we could afford to buy more if we really wanted we could have a couple of these and we could set one in the middle and to be honest i would imagine that that would probably be pretty much the entire field done so yeah again also the ore cans could be used for um do they do chaff does that header do chaff or wasn't there another one in the ore can pack i think there was Sneeze. Excuse me. Whoa. Right, all can pack. Oh, every single time you come in this menu, I'll be glad when I can switch this off. It's not really ideal for a content creator, but it, uh, the game has been so volatile. That's for corn, I would imagine then. Yes, it doesn't show corn on that, so it's got to be that one. 1.6 meter. So yeah, we can use that for corn. We, again, if you got two or three of those, it wouldn't it would suit because that is a little. It is very small, but nevertheless, you get two or three of those, and it's not a bad size. Yes, I wanted to show them all, and it was really fantastic that we actually got this as a drop. I, I was thinking about this, I thought, oh, this would make a fantastic little little thing. I'd love to sort of show this. Would have been I would have liked it if the forage people would have worked, but you know, Rome wasn't built that day. It might get fixed, it might get and I'm sure it's not gonna be supposed to be quite that small because it would not really work with any windrow other than the tiny weenies little windrow. But, but then perhaps that's supposed to be what this is like, really. The farmer go back, leading the charge. And then we would get this to draw, wouldn't we? Yeah, it would be nice if we could do that, but uh, yeah, we could use the same back for the uh, grabbing the straw. But uh, I think well, but there's a fantastic baler drop today, which I'm also very, very uh, would love to actually feature. All right, so then straw. Yeah, we must remember those. Yeah, on the uh, old countryside farm, I've forgotten that. As in, I was getting all excited, and then I was like thinking about something else. And instead of taking the wood chips, I think we're in February, March. So it might still just be worth a little bit, but well, we can that's to top of the pigs as well. I don't think there's a lot to do, but let's do it. Also, yeah, being as this is not water that's supposed to be potable, not to be drink drunk, we could easily still fill this and use this because it's yeah, it's oh, that's a point. Do we need any more water in there? Do we need any more water? That is a good point. I think we've done everything we needed the water for in the production shed. Yeah. And the lime, or likewise, I think, yeah, we did that, if I remember rightly. Well, there's a, there's a lot of lime in there now. Yeah, 39 tons. But we will probably need it, so. Yeah, the, 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 we, we, I'm sure we'll be able to use that in there again. So, right, let's grab this and... Ooh. Yeah, and it's bigger than the rice. And we've been struggling really with this because it's 
Not really, mind you, we've got a 45 tonner in there. Oh, no. Oh, oh it's in No, it's. Oh, no, you might just. Have, oh, yeah. Luckily, there wasn't much because it's a lift, not a push. I get mis. Yeah, for sometimes since this is the Brandner, the Brandner push, and obviously it isn't. It's the Reich. <laughs> As it says, it's just. It looks very similar. And obviously the Brandner is one of the yeah one of the few pushers in the game. There aren't that many of the pushers. It's one of the things I love about the 70 tonner. Yeah, there's the Beat Ninja as well. That's another one that's a push. There's not many. Yeah, I was looking through the trailers a few weeks back. Ugh. Now why is this not popping? Uh, unless we're full of straw? I don't think we are though. No. We know it's here. It's like the, I think the trigger's playing up to be honest. Yeah, it's it's new. I think there may be an update or something because we know it's here. We've already done it. Is it further back? No, not really. It was we, uh, Okay. It is actually further back. Nothing wrong with the trigger. It's the person in charge of the tractor. Oh, we need to be back a little bit further. Is that full? It is, thank goodness for that. Yeah, we're going to have to go a bit more, a bit closer inwards. I think we'll just might get away with it. Yeah, it is a bit tight. We really need something. Yeah, we need a push, really. Or one of this. Oh, hang on a minute. Can't we change this to. Left, right. That would work. I'm going to say the right is one of those where you can do that. Right, smash it. So we'll. Uh... Oh, we've got a left. We could assist. We could actually know. And then. seems to have got stuck again. Yeah, it is a little bit painful in places. That corner especially, it seems to get stuck at that corner. I think it's because it's a tight corner. so little we can do really at present. Do we use a front mower only and use the baler to assist or the forage? Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. That would at least assist. We could do half the field in the middle. Just grab the front mower, which where did we sit the mowers? The stupid mowers. Let's take them at the top. Ah. Got by an object. Okay, let's go and see what said object is. You really shouldn't be there. I don't know what would cause you to do that. You have no reason whatsoever to be there. We'll do this realistically. We're not going to die. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll go all the way round. Even though I know we can go through the fence because, as Mr. CVP would say, immersion. That is the name of the game. It is out. So I think it was turn around. I think it was trying to go outside of the field because it couldn't turn around, which means I didn't do enough headlands, truthfully. I am quite pleased really, I've, I've got to be honest, I think we're doing better than we should be, we've had quite a, quite a few lucky breaks, with pieces of equipment that dropped at the perfect right time, which that's helped us out, I love that mech, in fact that was a very very useful bit of kit, so then let's have a look at where we, yeah, let's have a look at the lines I think. say this is on the ups and the downs isn't it? Now I reckon it was turning around to the up and that's where it went wrong. Yeah, I think we've done the headlands. I think we need to do one more and the, the, the turnaround was wrong. Let's just see, because if this is the up then this will if I do nearest, it'll carry on in this direction. If I'm wrong, then it won't. Yeah, no, I am right. Now then, is there going to be enough turnaround space for this end? time. You snarled up in the trees. The really wide turn. this shed and I said that's the closest but then I said that's got the cedar stuff in. This is the pass through here. I wouldn't stick it over here because that's too far. I could stick it around here. Insulator. Been upstairs up the top ramps, it wasn't there. Do you know, Mr. Smith? I'm not impressed. Yeah, we have been up there, so, uh, well, this is me. Where did I drop the mowers? Oh, or build the ramp. It's an awful long way though. Why would I do that? That's a very silly move. Ah, actually no. Here's where we, we did it. I do remember now thinking about it. We don't need this mower.
Yeah, I was right. Oh no, he's sorting himself out. But yeah, it is. I've, le I've not left him a room. I really have to, did need to move one more. As I, I was right, the more the smaller your implement, the more headlands you need. I should have done at least five or six. Start from the finish bit on the other side. I'm going to go to a time lapse though. Yeah, say my words, and we'll see you guys and gals on the other side.
are done. Wow, we are really. I think it must be a really tiny uh, fuel tank. Yeah, and it manages well though, I've got to be honest. For saying how heavy that is, it is a, a little bit, I would say, the honest thing, but it does not give in, it does crack on. Yeah, it can't, it's not, can't get up to its full speed, it's at half speed, so I would say that's a little bit out, yeah, it's a little bit over what it should be pulling, really. I would say more like a, yeah, 20, yeah, about 25 tonner, I would say, something like that, up to something like the Reich, but it manages. So I think a couple of these on this field, in time, we can, yeah, we need to expand, definitely change the course, though, definitely. Yeah, I know I'm going literally right now, honest. Yeah, it really is struggling. Do you know something? Let's just let that go. We have tractors to do that. Let's just go and fill this all. And it did do a very, very good job, so I'm very pleased with that. Right. Let's go and take that. Stick that in. And that is us done for the day. Yeah, we'll literally go through till tomorrow, till July, which I believe is when our harvest is done. Did I even check to make sure that the harvest was not ready? Yes, I am right. It's, yeah, that's very dark green. So tomorrow morning we have got a lot of work to do. Stick this in. Leave the milk in. We will get that going though. But yeah, we'll wait till it's seven or eight tons, I think, which should be tomorrow morning, I think. Now we can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it straight through. We'll look at the cells and that. I'm going to leave the next session literally to me, YouTube me. Yeah, so we're going to do this properly. And we're going to shut the door. Well, if I can, if I can, that is. And 8 o'clock is indeed. Now we've done everything. Yes, we have definitely done everything. Including the slurry, so there should be quite a decent tick up this morning, as well as the silage, as well. That should be quite, a, yeah, yeah. That that's about what, <laughs> that's about what I was expecting, really. If I'm honest, that's good. I mean, we're doing well on the trailers and everything. What is in the sales this morning? And that is where we're going to leave it. Have we got a header tar up seven meter? Really? No, I don't think we will. And that's a 9.1 meter corn sunflower header. Now, have we got a header like that? Because that's not. Oh, no, our fields are definitely done. Yeah. We have. Oh, okay. What header? Oh, we've got a corn header. And a 7.5 meter case as well. So uh, we're, we're all right. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a John Deere header. Yeah, let, let's play realistically for once and have the right colors and everything. Right, well, that's where I'm going to leave it. We're going to do the animals before we start the main our main harvest. And then we're going to get cracking. So I'm very sure for that progress. I mean, that is, is, is a beast. It really is. It's doing, it's doing us proud, really. But yeah, that's another session over. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this fantastic journey on this beautiful little farm. It really is. But I'm going to say goodbye for now. <laughs>